guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm trying another Facebook recipe. Today's Facebook recipe is by Food Network's Jeff Morrow. It's called the Mackle Lantern. So I will have the original Facebook video that I saw down in the description as well as the link to the recipe so that if you want to try it out for yourself then you're more than welcome to. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. The items we're going to need are four cans or three cans of 14 and a half ounces of evaporated milk. I could only find 12 ounces at my local grocery store, so I did three or four 12 ounces, and I'll just do the math, whatever 14 and a half times three is, and equal it out that way. We're gonna use freshly ground pepper and kosher salt to taste. We're gonna have 12 ounces of American cheese. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, 12 ounces of, it says sharp cheddar, I accidentally bought mild cheddar, so we're going to use the mild cheddar, cooking spray, orange food dye, one and a half pounds of elbow macaroni, we have, ooh, I believe, one and, a, yeah, one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and three eggs and a broccoli stem. Did you catch all that? Because that's a lot of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get cooking. First things first, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which according to my oven is 205 degrees Celsius. All right, so in a medium saucepan, I did 43 and a half ounces of the evaporated milk. And we are going to simmer this on medium heat um, until it comes to a simmer. And I'll be back when that's done. So we have our water. I'm gonna cook my pound and a half of elbow pasta macaroni until very, very al dente, because remember, it is gonna cook in the oven as well. Okay. So I have added my 12 ounces of cheddar cheese, I swear it's under there, and my 12 ounces of American cheese, shredded-ish, whatever, close enough, into the bowl. Now I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of cornstarch, Mix it around, around, down, around, until your cheese is evenly coated. A little bit of cornstarch on the counter. All right, we're mixed in. Now we're going to put our tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Now let's see if this cheese is going to fit into the saucepan. So I didn't think that far ahead, but now that our evaporated milk, ah, Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, oh God, my cheese is falling everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? If you came to this channel for perfect cooking, uh, then you came to the wrong place. Oh Lord, my mac and my macaroni's about to overflow. Double, double. So mix. Oh uh, God, I'm riding the struggle bus tonight. Double fisting. All right, well that needs to keep going. That mac and cheese, I need to turn down. All right, so you're gonna put this all in here until everything is melted into your cheese sauce. Yum. All right, I'll see when it's all melted. All right, so in the completed cheese sauce, it did go for about 10 minutes in order to thicken up the sauce and make it all really gooey and nice. So we're gonna add some kosher salt to taste. It's not coming out, I promise. It doesn't look as much as it is. And some freshly ground black pepper to taste. If you guys know, my family likes a lot of pepper, so I add lots and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. So you're going to need to keep one cup of macaroni-ish. I only have a half a cup clean myself, so one cup of macaroni to the side, as well as one and a half cups of the cheese sauce for the side. Put that on to the side. All right, now just kidding. 
kidding. You take the one cup of mac and cheese out after you put the sauce on. So, transferring this, because I didn't grab a big enough bowl, into a bigger bowl. Can you help me? It's really hot. No, you're just gonna sit there and watch me. Whoop! It's a little bit of Thanks, cameraman. Alright, now we're gonna mix it all together. Alright, then we add three beaten eggs to it, which bean? Wait, we gotta Sorry, my video is a little off today. Alright, now that the sauce is all mixed in, I need to remove one cup of mac and cheese. Put it to the side. Okay, that felt bad. Put it to the side. Then we add our beaten eggs to our mac and cheese mixture. And then mix it up. Now, with some magic, a grease bump pan. Let's do this. Max, can you hold up the bowl? Remy, magic and a little bit of shoving is going to be involved, I assume. from the oven. We did already check it to make sure it was done. Let's do this successfully without burning. Now that it is cooled for 10 minutes, the jet mac lantern, I'm going to stick our remaining cheese sauce in the microwave. Four, we'll start with two minutes because I don't want it to burn. Right. Let's see if it's going to stay together. I'm hopeful. It's like the freaking ice cream dome cake all over it. Either let's hope it doesn't stick or it stays together. not going to change at all. Okay, time to pour over our cheese sauce onto 
our Mac o lantern. Now it's poured over, I'm going to add my broccoli stem as the stem of the pumpkin. Now it's officially a Mac O Lantern. Let's go ahead and try it. I cheated and I tried this cheese sauce. That's okay. I'm excited for the whole thing. Let's cut her up. First, I'm getting rid of this because this is nasty looking. Let's cut it. As always, my favorite part of the video, which is trying the food. So let's get a bite. My dog's trying to break into my garbage can. Don't mind me. Some of the cheese sauce on the other side. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese is so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you guys go check out the Facebook videos playlist down below in the description. As well as hit that subscribe button while you're down there so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! Alright, so you are going to need to keep... Oh, you want one more here? I'll just... Alright, we're going to pour it in this heavy pot. Oh my god, it's hot. I can't do it. Here, man. Can you help me, please? <laughs> are you okay? what you were doing. Hmm? Didn't realize what you were doing. Well, <laughs> I had to go like back. For some reason it's like I gotta go back like this far to get you in the shot. Show off your pretty haircut. No, sit. I know I have a treat. Sit. Look at you showing off your pretty haircut. You're so cute. Here's your treat. Good girl. Good girl.